Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. I am a PGY3 now neurology resident, gonna be a four shortly. I wanted to do this video on why choosing uh, stroke neurology. So I had videos earlier that were why neurology, and now I'm gonna try to do some videos about why you should pick certain subspecialties of neurology. Just from like looking at my colleagues and just being in neurology residency for three years now, why people choose these fields and why you should be excited about these fields. So stroke, vascular neurology. I get a lot of exposure to vascular neurology where I'm a resident because our volume is pretty high. I would say most residents in my residency feel very comfortable with dealing with strokes. And I feel like that's like a that's a lot of neurology residencies because stroke is the number one thing we're dealing with. Um, I personally, uh, I'm not I'm not a stroke guy. I'm not I'm not going into vascular neurology, but I do know a lot of my two of my co-residents are, and I know a bunch of other people that just love uh, vascular neurology. So why do they like it? So I think a couple of things. So the first thing would be acuity. So if you're someone that really likes fast-paced environment, they like neurology, they like a fast-paced environment, then I think stroke could be something that you could go into. It's very, very cool to be able to think on your feet uh, do a quick neuro exam and localize uh, where the problem is. So those people that choose vascular neurology, they kind of have that like ED mindset where they can, where they where they like to have that adrenaline rush and figure out the problem. I think the second thing is being able to provide a treatment and watch a rapid improvement. So in my hospital, we use Tenecta Place, which is uh, TPA basically. And to be able to see a focal deficit push um, uh, IV medication and then watch a patient like suddenly get better and go from having like severe disability to being able to like move their limbs again or have like s severe um, like facial droop, dysarthria, things get better and watch it in front of your eyes get better. That's, that's a cool feeling. And I, I really think it is a cool feeling. The other thing is being able to bring them to thrombectomy. So even though vascular neurologists in and of themselves are not the ones doing the thrombectomy and that's endovascular, being able to contact endovascular and get that patient in and remove the clot and see the improvement, that, that's, a, that's a great feeling. And being able to go into endovascular. So stroke neurologists can do a fellowship in endovascular if they so choose um, and apply for that. And that's just, an, that's another great option for them. Um, and I think the third um, reason why people choose to go into stroke is because of the algorithm, algorithmic thinking. Stroke is a little bit like medicine in a way that we got patients with uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, sleep apnea. We have a lot of medical comorbidities, diabetes. And with the stroke workup, our first thing foremost is finding out risk factors, tackling those risk factors, looking at our imaging, seeing where is the stroke coming from? Is it an embolic stroke? Is it a lacunar stroke? And then summing this all up, finding out the reason why the patient had a stroke. Once you find out the reason why they had a stroke, treating it, getting to the bottom of it. So I, I know a lot of um, my colleagues that do like stroke, they like that algorithm. People that go into stroke really like that algorithmic thinking. They like um, the research that's behind it, all the studies that have been done and making choices. Sure, there's gray zones in, in stroke. There's gray zones in all of neurology. But those that choose stroke, there is a lot of great treatments and there's very nice algorithms about what should be done for which patient and what the gold standard is. So this is just a quick little video on why to choose stroke neurology. Um, I'm no stroke expert, just a resident, but this is what I've witnessed and I hope this helps you. I hope it motivates you. Uh, if you're a med student, I hope this makes you excited about choosing this field of neurology. And I can promise you that even if you don't go into stroke as a neurology resident, you're going to see a lot of stroke and you're going to help a lot of people. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I got some more videos if you want to look back, um, why neurology, things like that. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.